small forward, six foot nine, number twenty two. is right now. Take a look at his true shooting percentage decreasing over the last five games. He desperately needs to find his stroke tonight. And now the Atlanta Hawks starters. Young runs point with Murray at the two. Hunter is the three with Collins at the four. And it's Kaminsky in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the 76ers, Thibel and Harris at the three and the four. Maxi out there with James Harden. And it's Embiid in at the five, down low. And to the surprise of some... for one to start. Now here's Young. Kaminsky is screen on Hart. Just five on the clock from 12 feet. Oh, stolen by a B. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And he gets it to go. And that was just moving the ball quickly. And he's rewarded at the end with a high percentage goal. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets real like that, you got to look out. Young the pass to Collins. That one's good. And it's Young with the assist. Ray Young continuing to read and scan the floor. And that time finds an open teammate. Pass to Harris. Embiid with it. And Embiid gets the double team. Harris. And Harris throws it down. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four. Can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Murray against Embiid. The kick to Hunter. Pass to Murray. Kaminsky outside. Fires the three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. They beat the Hawks during their last encounter in Atlanta. Oh, my. That was a game for the ages. A fierce battle. It really could have gone either way. But they were fortunate they pulled it out. Man, they had to scrape and claw just to get themselves back into the game and into overtime. But they really kept their composure in the extra five minutes. And it paid off for the win. Young, the pass to Collins. Oh, stolen by Harris. 
to Embiid. The three. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. The Hawks trailing. I'll tell you what, a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. He took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth with team rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. Just one for five. Not the start they were looking for. Obviously, there's still plenty of time to get on track. Now Harden. 23 points his last outing. That's a cry. Again, the Sixers score. An outstanding first quarter from the field. The Hawks have gone one of five to start things off. Young, the pass to Collins. Kaminsky is screen on Harden. Here's Young. Rival with the board. Defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Here's Harden. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Harden just loves scoring from contact. He seeks it out while trying to get fouls on his shooting attempts. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. here in the first quarter. A little over three and a half minutes played. Outside Murray. Young with a screen on Maxi. The kick out to Young. They need this. Oh, the Hawks again. Cannot hit it. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, we can throw you off just as much as having no time. To the wing on the left. Embiid from outside. Kaminsky pulls it in. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. To the inside. Back to Collins. Outside Murray. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Maxi. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. The Sixers leading. Harris passes to Harden. Embiid is screen on Collins. Outside Tyler. Embiid against Kaminsky. For three, Maxi. The rebound by the Hawks. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. And guys, it really was a thrilling duel all the way to the end. <laughs> you hated to see anyone walk away the loser. Yeah, I bet it was pretty quiet in that locker room after that game. When it hit overtime, it was a matter of which team had more energy left. And seemingly, it wasn't them. Now here's Maxine. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. He also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls, so he's creating. 
creating havoc for the defense. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. And the Hawks going from the Eastern Conference Finals to the eighth seed via play-in. A bit of a step backwards last year. Yeah. You know, growing as a young team has its ups and downs. Hawks know they can be better than the eighth seed. They now have an expectation of a playoff caliber ball club. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. dangerous in the pick and roll situation with that size. Hunter can't make the defense lay off him for long. Now here's Harden. He's been a big scorer for this offense. Averaging around 20 points a game. Back to back. Game. Plenty of space. Yes. And it's Embiid picking up the assist. Maxi's got six. And Lem has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Young the pass to Collins. And here is Young. Collins with a screen on Harden. Down low. Oh, got a piece of it. Harris outside. Pass to Embiid. Can't hit that one. Good work defensively by Kaminsky. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. Collins outside. Here's Young, six to shoot. Over Harden. That one a little long. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. Hunter against Thibel. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Sixers. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. And the change for the Hawks. Bogdanovich has checked in for DeJounte Murray. Now Philadelphia with it. They're on a 14-4 run. Young against Harden. Back to Tucker. Fires it. The Sixers again can't hit. Ten points separating these teams. Outside Hunter. Young, the pass to Kaminsky. Collins with a screen on Harden. Young misses. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in comfortable spots or any spots we've seen in this offensive set. They're allowing him to settle in. 
Yeah, the focus of the defense. I mean, James Harden was able to use that attention and turn it into a hoop for someone else. Outside Bogdanovich. Knocks down the triple. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Maxie passes to Harrell. Now here's Harden. Fires for three. It's good. And a sweet set up from Harrell. Harden's got his third bucket of the night. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. And yeah, there's the foul. It'll go on Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul of the game. And the 76ers with some changes. Niang, he's checked in for Thibel. Melton comes in for Maxi, And Milton subbed in for Harden. And a new group getting ready for the Hawks. Silva's checked in for Kaminsky. Johnson comes in for Collins. Griffin, he's checked in for Hunter. And Holiday subbed in for Trey Young. Three-pointer, Holiday. And it's Niang with the rebound. Philadelphia has gone one of four from deep. Pass to Milton. And here is Harold. 16 feet out. Yes, it's good. And the 76ers lead by 14. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy. Now here's Milton. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Puts it up from 12. Harold, no good. On offense, here are the Hawks. Pass to Johnson. Here's Silva. Bogdanovich with it. Harold picks him up. Silva, that's good. Well, Bogdanovich can score, but where he gets real dangerous is when he becomes a playmaker like that. You know, you watch Bogey and how he can orchestrate. He's an underrated playmaker, Grant. Yeah, B.A., the assist numbers don't jump out at you. But he has great core vision at all times. Runs the pick and roll well and is shifty in the paint. Now here is Harold. Outside Milton. Five on the clock. Niang a screen. Milton no good. Atlanta is shooting just 25% from the field in the first quarter. Bogdanovich passes to Holiday. Drives to the hoop. And the ball out of play. The Sixers will have it. And for the 76ers, they're shooting an excellent 56% on this quarter. Here's the three. He can't get that one to fall. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Bogdanovich passes to Holiday. Back to Bogdanovich. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Bogdanovich, we saw a little bit of this during the All-Star weekend. He can play with a little bit of flair. You know he's confident when he starts to show those signs. Now here's Milton. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And here they come. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, and this is what happens. Here's Melton. Good D by Bogdanovich. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Pass to Silva. Launches it. Philadelphia grabs the miss. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against Atlanta. Oh, my. That was a game for the ages. A fierce battle. It really could have gone either way, but they were fortunate they pulled it out. And they had to scrape and claw just to get themselves back into the game and into overtime, but they really kept their composure in the extra five minutes, and it paid off for the win. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. Here's Melton. Outside Milton. Trying to get back on track. And he 
can't get that one. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Sixers. Well, hey guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been? Just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. Harrison and Embiid are playing up front. James Harden out there with the Anthony Melton, and it's Korkmaz in at the small forward position. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And he lobs it up top. And Collins with the slam. Man, so impressive. Collins way up for that one. Pass to Embiid. Back to Harden. And Harden with the slam. Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. James Harden with plenty of confidence. Said not to brag or anything, but I'm really good at this game. I'm unselfish. I play the right way. I don't try to do anything I can't do or that doesn't benefit my team. That mindset keeps me in a good place. Yeah. Very self-assured, Allie. Thank you. Harris at 6'9 is a big body, and the defense has got to do a better job of pushing him outside the paint. Now here's Murray. He had a 12-point outing in the last game against Philadelphia. And guys, the other thing that he did well was just facilitate the offense, pass the ball around beautifully in that one, seriously put on a passing clinic. Here's Harden following the score by Atlanta. Pass to Embiid. From 15 feet away, off the left rim and out. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Outside Hunter. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, B.A., yeah, you know, I made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. The free throw drops for Embiid. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. Tyrese Maxey's checked in for Melton. Kaminsky, he's checked in for the Hawks. Trey Young comes in for Holiday. And Embiid drops them both. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. Now here's Harden. He's got nine. Pass to Korkmaz. Outside Harden. To the paint. Deflects the pass. Oh, Kaminsky with a steal. Murray passes to Hunter. That one goes in. Hunter's gotten his second bucket. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of ice passes. Here's Korkmaz. Getting that block mostly because of great positioning. Six on the shot clock. Here's Korkmaz. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot. So he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. You know, in the 
the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Second team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Kirkka Kirkka. At the line for one. Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., yeah. and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Now here's Murray. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Pretty good body control from the big man as Collins stays focused on the rim. The 76ers have gone 3 of 5 since the beginning of the second, and Philadelphia calls time here. After being drafted 19th overall in the 2017 draft, John Collins continuing to exceed expectations, which has contributed to what he does in terms of his workload. assists in the game. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Now here's Maxi. Give him eight points now. Launches a three. Collins with the rebound. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Here's Murray. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on. Man, good whistle there. And the DeJounte Murray trade sort of came out of left field. Seemed mutual as the Spurs went to a younger direction and wanted Murray to play for a contender. A trade where everyone involved gets what they want. You know, this Hawks team really does score the ball well. Lots of dynamic players on this team. And Young has made a huge difference in their production. Thibel, he's checked in for the Sixers. That one falls, so he hits both of them. So about Atlanta. Just how far can this team make it? Well, B.A., there's no question they'll be efficient on the offensive end. But the question is, can they put everything else together and be a complete team? That'll ultimately be the difference. Embiid draw the double team. Pass to Court Mons. Bible on the wing. Shot clock at five. Tip 
tipped away. Now back to the three. That one's off. Four for seven in the game now. Right side, Murray. Tries a 10-footer, and it's good for two. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Pass to Embiid. Goes up. And another miss by Philadelphia. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Butter passes to Collins. Hunter with the ball. Covered by Tybal. Harris against Collins. The Hawks need to get one up here. And Young with the bucket on the assist by Collins. And now just a one-point Philadelphia lead for Philadelphia. They've got four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Pass to Harris. Fires from deep. Cork Moss, no good. Here's Atlanta with the ball. A big stretch here going. Ten to two. Back to Murray. Takes a three. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got five rebounds tonight. Patsy with it. Give him eight. Harris outside. From deep three-point range. Sinks it. What range for downtown? Harris has got seven points. Now it's not called by Atlanta. change here. Tucker's checked in. Bogdanovich has checked in for Atlanta. The Hawks have gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. Young against Maxi. Young, the pass to Bogdanovich. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got his third assist of the night. Bogdanovich has such a nice repeatable motion in his perimeter game. Beautiful three ball there. Here's Korkman. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. His teammates' spirits right now. I'll tell you, Grant, these second chance buckets could be what this game comes down to. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. And the Hawks with possession here. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. And Embiid with the block. And the shot goes. This story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Give him eight points now. Embiid inside. Working on Kaminsky. Korkmaz, no good. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Maxi 
against Young. Left side, Bogdanovich. Collins passes to Hunter. Collins outside. Young from long range. Young missing again. The 76ers have gone 6 of 14 in the second quarter. Pass to Tucker. Outside, Tyler. And here's Embiid. Collins defending. Timing defensively, Collins just up there, the long arms and quick off the deck. Oh, down the alley! And an emphatic jam on the lob. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. One of those guys at his size that always looms larger on the floor. He is comfortable on the inside and finish it. Now here's Hunter. He's averaging more than 12 a game. A consistent threat on offense. Oh, nice shot by Collins. It's it's like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. The Sixers trailing. And here is Maxi. Give him eight points now. Outside Tybal. Pass to Embiid. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Now, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. The free throw drops for Embiid. You know, before they moved to Atlanta, the Hawks had a lot of playoff success. They made the NBA Finals four times in their first 12 years, and they won a championship break. Yeah, recent years haven't been as kind, but they're getting back in the mix there, and it's been a half century since they've gotten to the Finals. They have some, they have some special players on this team, and the Hawks fans are, are really desperate to see them compete at that level again. And Embiid drops them both. His body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Now here's Holiday, looking for his first basket still in this one. Outside Johnson, and here's Griffin outside. The shot that time not on target, and Philadelphia the other way now. They'll face the Jazz after this game. That'll be at home. That'll be their second of a five-game stretch at home. It's stolen by Johnson. Bogdanovich into the lane. Shoots over Melton. And it's Bogdanovich that time on the assist from Holiday. Holiday's got his third assist of the night. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Atlanta. I must say their defensive intensity has been impressive so far. Really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do because right now they feel like the faster team. At the line for your Sixers, Joel and Boone. Two First free throw is good. A fun-loving player on and off the court. Indeed, continues to get better. One of the league's top big men. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for the Sixers. And Indeed drops them both. And the big fellow with the skill level, showing a soft touch at the line. Here's Griffin. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. And the Hawks lead by one. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Embiid inside. The kick out to Milton. Shoots over Griffin. A nice shot by Milton. Wow, eight lead changes in the first half. Unbelievable. Yeah, both sides digging in for what looks like a war. To the middle. It's Denton. Embiid with a steal. 
Melton passes to Milton. It falls. He's now two of five for the field. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Milton against Holiday. Outside Bogdanovich. Off target from three point range. Philadelphia is going just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Now here's Melton. He's coming off a 13 point game against Atlanta. Milton for three. Griffin pulls down the board. The D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. And he recovers it. Here's Johnson. And that one's on target from the wing. The Sixers leading. Embiid a screen on Holiday. Milton passes to Embiid. There's 39 seconds left in the second quarter. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his third personal foul. 15 fouls. The line for Philadelphia, Jake Milton, taking two shots. And he makes a first. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Harden, he's checked in for Niang. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. They set the screen. And the layup is good off the glass. Bogdanovich has got seven points for the quarter. Hey, man, Bogdanovich can play. Someone who wants to score as much as that guy, gotta love it. Outside Harden. 11 seconds left in the second quarter. Clock at six. Pass to Embiid. Fires from the wing. Misses off the right iron. Joel Embiid. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Philadelphia. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. James, scoring seems to come easy for you. What's your mentality out there? I just like to have fun. You know, it's all for the kids. It's all for the fans. You know, I think that's what we're here for. And so, um, you know, guys just go out there and compete, have fun, and just play hard. Well, the kids are getting a great show tonight. Good luck in the second half. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. Hey, folks, welcome. The Atlanta Hawks find themselves here in a close one at the half. They've been too sloppy with the ball. Coaching staff cannot be happy with all the turnovers. Tough to win when you can't hold on to the ball. Of course, it might help if they had the hands the size of Shaq. Okay, time now to see how the Eastern Conference is starting to shape up. I think for Atlanta, they're right where I expected them to be. The effort is there, but their play is inconsistent. Feels like they're still constructing this roster. We'll see what they look like by the end of the year. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. What else can you say? Joel Embiid, an impressive effort here today. He took a head-on approach in the first half, going straight at the D and drawing fouls. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. 
second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Here's who Nate McMillan is starting the second half with. The tandem on the perimeter, Murray and Hunter. Frank Kaminsky is out there with John Collins, and it's Young in at the point guard position. Now here's Young, shoots over Harden, and Young the bucket on the assist by Kaminsky. Young's got eight. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. To be Trey Young, do you love the confidence? I mean, is boiling over with it. Screen by Embiid. Here's Harris. The three is up. And Embiid is good for three. 15 points in the game. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, that's good signs. Now here's Murray. Collins with a screen on Harden to the paint. And then it's Collins with the dunk. This is a great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And Young will challenge your defense from every distance, Brent. Now look, this guy, B.A., has unlimited range, has an elite floater game, and you bring in two guys defensively, you'll find the option that's open. Now here's Maxi. Give him eight. Doesn't go that time. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Brian Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Jules Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a little bit. That's his All right, thanks, Sally. I feel like Tobias Harris's confidence has grown over the past couple of seasons, especially on the offensive end. Very capable of taking advantage of smaller defenders. And he drops the first. Good on the second, so he makes them both. The Hawks have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Young, the pass to Collins. Collins with a screen on Maxi. There's Young with the three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got rebound number eight now. Here's Maxi. Give him eight. Harden from outside. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Well, Harden will do this all day if the defense lets him. His efficiency from the heart could be devastating. Young finds Murray. And here's Collins for three. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got his fifth assist in this one. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. I like to see that, especially when the results are made up. Not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. Collins with a screen on Harden. And a deep three from Young. Oh, he's way off. From outside. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harris. The 76ers making a switch here. Tucker's checked in. Atlanta's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Young, the pass to Murray. Collins outside. Three-pointer, no good. For Philadelphia, they've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. And there is a whistle. It goes on Tobias Harris. That's his first foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. The Hawks trailing. Outside Young. 
to Collins. Oh, stolen by Harris. Pass to Maxi from deep. The rebound by the Hawks. Collins has got five rebounds in the game. Young inside, defended by Hart. We get it again. Philadelphia has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Tucker against Hunter. Here's Thibel. Collins with the defensive effort. And for the Hawks, they're shooting a disappointing 38%. Young with it. Give him eight points now. Murray passes to Collins. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Collins has got seven points here in the quarter. John Collins does a nice job reading the defense there, staying focused right through the contact and gets the finish. Murray against Maxey. Outside Harden. Here's the teardrop, and he takes it up and lays it in. Harden's got 14 points for the game. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. We don't take possessions like that one all day. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. So far, confidence rising in this game. The 76ers have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Outside Donald. Oh, and a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to go on the Andre Hunter. The officials were right on top of that one. At the line for Philadelphia, the team's five he misses the free throw. On the second one. The Hawks have gotten five of ten shots to go. 
Nolan Collins with a screen on Harden. Young from long range. And it's Niang with a rebound. The shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find the rhythm? Inside Harden is such a tough cover. You know he's clever enough to turn any good defense into a foul. And Harden, the former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A. Yeah. I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But postseason success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. There's the AT&T 5G slam can, capturing the moment. Maxi passes to Tucker. Harden with it. 4-3. Hunter with the rebound. Hunter's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Young. Outside Murray. And he's going for the oop here. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. And here are the top shooters at the point guard position in this year's freshman class. James Harden, third. <laughs> there are just some fantastic shooters on that list. You love point guards who have great touch as well as the patience to wait for good looks. Well, it's about taking smart shots and playing with great control. And that smart shot selection coupled with tremendous pure shooting, that's got them on the top of the list. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. And there's just one foul now away from the middle. Korkmaz has checked in for Thibel. Silva's checked in for the Hawks. Bogdanovich comes in for DeJounte Murray. Here's Korkmaz. Tucker pass to Harden. And then Harden with the chance. Tucker, great job reading the floor and finding a way to set up a ready shooter. Pass to Young. Collins with a screen on Harden. Unloads from 13. Tries again. Collins, no good. For Philadelphia, they've got six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Out to the right wing. Here's Korkmaz from outside the arc. Hunter with some nice D. Atlanta's going just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. And the ball out of play. The Sixers will have it. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You take a look at Philadelphia, it's a long season. But right now, they're in great position, holding that prize top spot. And of course, the Hawks, back three games. Checking out Philadelphia, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. And don't count on that coming to an end anytime soon. The talent level of this squad is off the charts. And with the momentum they're gathering here early in the year, it's steamroll through the season. And the 76ers with some changes. Montrez Harrell comes in for Maxi, And it's Melton in for James Harden.
The Hawks have gotten seven of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. Now here's Holiday. How quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Stolen by Melton. He goes up. And he caps off the break with a monster slam. And really showing the athleticism. Flying solo. Yeah, why not? Show a little creativity. Get inside. Move that ball around. Just make sure you score. A shot by Holiday. No good. The Sixers leading. Here's Corkbox. Melton with the ball. Pass to Corkbox. From behind the arc. He can't hit that time. He struggles shooting the rock. Yet, they're still winning. It's a good thing his teammates have played well. Holiday finds Bogdanovich. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his seventh assist here tonight. It's a pretty soft touch for Bogdanovich trying to do some damage on the inside now. Now here is Harold. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. Pass to Cork Moss. Here's Niang, defended by Griffin. Lock it four from deep. Belton knocks it down from the distance. Belton's got five points now this quarter. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's important to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Now that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. And the 76ers call time here. here for the 76ers. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Tucker. Harris comes in for Niang. And Milton subbed in for Korkmaz. And the Hawks making a change here as well. DeJounte Murray's checked in for Griffin. Inside, here's Bogdanovich. A rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. 50 seconds left to play in the third quarter. From eight feet, that shot off. And it'll be the Hawks taking it the other way. Pass to Murray. Here's Johnson. Down low. Pulls up at the elbow. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harris has got four rebounds now. Now MB. 
Mead. Outside Milton. Back to Embiid. Over Johnson. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes and what separates great playmakers as we know is peripheral vision. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Philadelphia with it. Trival and Harris at the three and the four. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. And it's Embiid in at the center position. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Beyond the arc. Embiid. Great positioning on the putback. We all know rebounding is about effort. Embiid is showing lots of movement. I love how he's unwilling to give up on the play. Murray passes to Bogdanovich. Collins outside. Young. And he drops in the layup on the glass. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Harden pass to Embiid. Here's Thibel. Here's Embiid. He's guarded by Kaminsky. And Embiid gets the double team. And that one jumps. Embiid's got nine points now in the second half. He's a new man this half, playing with much better intensity and getting results. Young, the pass to Bogdanovich. Collins against Harris. Pass to Young. And Embiid with the block. We see it time and time again. Embiid relishes his role as an intimidator. Okay, he's now 9 for 11 after that one. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Collins. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Collins has got 25 points in the game. It's pretty clear that Collins is settling in to the strengths of his game. Good. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Outside Murray. Kaminsky is screen on Maxi. Here's Murray. A rebound by Embiid. The 76ers have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Top Harden, guarded by Young. Here's Thibel. Sinks the trail. The strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Now here's Bogdanovich. Collins outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Young. Harden with the defensive effort. Well, his shots aren't dropping. They haven't been able to keep pace, but we trust him enough. Keep going to him. See if he can find him. Here's Harden. Pass to Harris. Screen by Embiid. Harris passes to Embiid. Oh, Kaminsky with a steal. Bible against Young. Floats one, and it's blocked by Thibault. And so it looks like it'll be Atlanta's ball. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. 
that good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. And the 76ers making a change here. Tucker's checked in. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Hunter's checked in. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Collins against Tucker. Down to five on the shot clock. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. All right, let's see what the Atlanta Hawks have coming up. On Monday, they'll take on Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then on Wednesday, they'll be facing Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. And for their matchup with the Raptors, anything can happen in the NBA. But they'll be a heavy favorite, and it would take a total meltdown for them to lose. Now here's Harden. Now Young with a steal. To the inside. Murray, no good. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Murray against Maxi. Pass to Harden. The 11th footer. The rebound by Murray. The Hawks have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Collins a screen to win the drought. And it's Murray with the three. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. He got burned on that one. Now here's Maxi. Up top, Harden. Second chance shot. And the layup is up and in. Harden's got 15 points here in the second half. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Outside Murray. Young with a screen on Maxi. Here's Murray. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. Murray's got five points in the quarter. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Harden finds Thibault. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for Philadelphia. Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. The other part about tonight, you got to give credit to the coaching staff. They came in here with a great game plan, defensively locked in. They were ready for the sets. They jumped in passing lanes. They came away with steals. I mean, they anticipated just about everything. And that one misses. And when John Collins takes off from the floor, you can feel your hair start to stand. One of the most explosive players in the league with this incredible liftoff. A strong step to the rim, and he can demolish anything in his path. Simply an electric player at times. Pass to Tucker. Now here's Embiid. He's guarded by Kaminsky. And stolen by Murray! His fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. The 76ers have gotten seven of their first 10 shots to go during this fourth quarter. Outside time. Six to shoot. Went off the back iron and out. The Hawks have gone six for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Down low. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. Outside Harden. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It wasn't an easy road to the NBA for P.J. Tucker. Brett, he spent most of his early career in Europe. Yeah, those first five years, he never gave up on the dream to get back stateside and play in the league. So working hard on his game, understanding his game, 
and he's been such a great player for this past decade with a ring to show for. And that one misses. A nightly triple-double threat. Harden's level of creativity and incredible confidence makes him lethal. Second free throw is good. Well, your Hall of Fame dad, Rick, made some interesting comments, Brent. One of them, encouraging the league to crack down on illegal streams. No way, B.A. My dad said something that was controversial or interesting. We got to get, get out of here. Yeah, I mean, illegal streams, do we want to see less of them? Sure. Now here's Tucker. That shot off the mark. Excellent D there from Collins. Here's Murray. That's it. Coming off an assist from Young. I mean, could we say he was playing possum a bit there in the first half? Because he seems to be a different guy out there, way more assertive. And Philadelphia calls time here. And you know with Trey Young, he almost embraces being the villain to other teams' fan bases. It's like he feeds off the fans heckling him on the road. Appreciate the report, Ali. Outside hard. Throws it up high. Oh, Kaminsky with a steal. Here we go. Here's Collins. Again, Atlanta. Confidence there shown by John Collins. Got to like watching him go right up for the shot. Young against Harden. Pass to Tucker. Now here's Embiid. Left side diamond. There's the triple. Offensive rebound. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Embiid's got 11 in the second half. The control and focus from Embiid. Able to absorb hits from the defense and still finish. Murray with it. Picked up by Tucker. And the basket is good. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that ring. For Philadelphia, they've gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. Embiid is screen on Young. Harden pass to Tyler. The baseline, Jay. And the basket by Embiid. Embiid's got 25 points in the game. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. Harden against Young. Pass to Murray. Hey, yo. 
Six on the shot clock. Releases. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Philadelphia has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. To the paint. Here's Tucker. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Defensive foul. Frank Kaminsky the third. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, P.J. Tucker, shooting one. P.J. Tucker, one of those guys that we talk about as a journeyman throughout his NBA career, but there's no doubt that he's made positive impact and touches wherever it is that he's played. Young misses. His struggles this quarter are self-evident, and the team just continues to suffer for him. Pass to Embiid. Maxi, a good look. Rebounded by the Hawks. Hunter's got six rebounds now in the game. And here is Young, defended by Harden. Young against Harden. And Young gets it to go. Young's gotten four this quarter. Young working hard on the defensive end that time. Maxey with a screen on Young. Pass to Embiid. And Embiid gets the double team. Against Harden. Here's Hunter. And there's the slam. Don't it off. You've got to be aware of Hunter, especially when he gets up at the rim. That guy's got some size. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're leading by eight. We've got 155 left in the fourth. that come from Trey Young and I'll tell you what if the defense is getting under his skin he rarely shows that and so he hits both 136 left in the final quarter pass to Tucker 
inside. And here's Thibel. This one for three. Good. And the assist to Embiid. Embiid's got four assists now tonight. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer, that vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. Now here's Young. Kaminsky, the pass to Hunter. Collins with it. Shot clock at six. Outside Hunter. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. Philadelphia has gone 2 to 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. And this is a game they can build on. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the 76ers. It was stop and go for them along the way, but they finally seized full control of this game. The BA, the scoreboard definitely doesn't tell the whole story. They were able to pull things together when things got tough, and of course, they closed strong. And this will push their total wins for the year up to 11. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. We've come to expect big-time games from him. Just another day at the office for James Harden. We saw him get a lot of touches tonight, and he wasted very few of them. He really made himself the backbone of their offense. Now here's Thibault. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Embiid. Collins with the rebound. Now Young. This is there. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. James, congratulations on the win. What do you take away from this game as you move forward? Well, we just got to be locked in and more focused. Uh, tonight, I think we had too many turnovers. Uh, we got to watch film and, and see what they did to make us turn the ball over uh, and just overall be better. Those turnovers will eat you alive come playoff time, as you know. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, James Harden.